That's what the cardiologist needs. But you, your, your um, uh, nurse, all they need is what I'm talking about here. And maybe this here. So then the question is, <coughs> how are we going to teach it to the young ones? And who's going to teach it? In my opinion, you are. <laughs> you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. You've got to get it out. If they're going to buy $10 million worth of these kids, who's going to teach them how to use a tourn tourniquet? Now, there will be teaching videos and so on, so, but the bottom line is there's not that many teachers. So now you can become a certified teacher for this or for CPR with that. Yeah. In fact, they're begging for people. I get about two emails a week wanting me to do something to uh, apply to be a certified instructor and so on. So, Anyway, all I'm is, is the world is changing quickly, yeah. and the statisticians are coming out with lots of numbers on how many people's lives can be saved yeah. by you knowing a little bit of this, or you. It's funny, because uh, uh, in Iraq, you know, we learned all this right here. They, uh, they taught us about stop the bleed, you know, about using a tourniquet, and uh, that was like in... Uh, Where? When I was in Iraq, we we oh, learned yeah. learned right. all that. And this uh, is when that was coming out. Yeah, yeah, and that's where it, that's it where was it in, in high schools. So I'm saying yeah. now, yeah. Governor Abbott. If you followed Governor Abbott, yeah. he's he's really hot on education, yeah. technology, and so on. He's pushing yeah. pretty tough. But I uh, so. I, I was uh, when I came back from my when I came back from Iraq, my uh, uh, my nephew. He was a, my nephew was an EMT, and I told him about this, and he says, no, 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 that's not right. And I tried to tell him, well, it's, it's, it's what we're being taught in Iraq now. He said, no, no, you can't do a tourniquet, you know, you, they're going to lose a limb, but, you know. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying, that's where, uh, and I started off saying that, I'm only talking to you here, yeah. but again, I might have 400 people look at this between now and, the, and Tuesday, yeah. you know, and on some of my stuff, on music, I've got 500,000 people looked at it. Yeah. So somehow we have to spread the word. And I'm saying there's other people doing it in their own way. This guy, I can't believe what he's doing. And he's got more than one kid. This is the one that fits in with what we're doing, uh, a simulator. So the same with the pretty frame. The nice thing about this now is for like you and your school, I made that 3D printing landing pad for the moon on Tinkercad. Yeah. I can share it with the world. You can make it better. You can take mine and say, I, you got all red lights on there. I would like the red light to turn green. Therefore, I'm going to put one in the middle that's green when, when the thing touches down. But anyway, all this stuff can be shared on the internet between interesting people. The nice thing is around the world. You know, yeah. That's why I'm able to sit in my house and work with people in China. For about two years, I worked with uh, uh, a professor in uh, Berlin, Germany, and we did some microscopy stuff together. And I never left my house. Yeah. So it's a matter of getting them interested and getting them trained and so on. So let's see if I got anything else. This is a kit, by the way. This is a stethoscope. Okay. And I'll give it to you. Put this on for her. Push it in and turn it. probably going not to hear anything because that's now a suit. You do? Good. It's a super scope. It's got four uh, modes to it. So you can put it on pulmonary, and the pulmonary obviously will be different than EKG. EKG is going to turn it into more or less an electrical device or change the wavelength from uh, pulmonary sound down to cardiac sound. Cardiac sounds are about a hundred uh, 
Kurtz. So pretty near mm -hmm. uh, Kurtz. Therefore, if you're using these kind of machines, that we made there, I don't know, wait a minute. You can see, it's got the number on it, if you're going to buy any. Yeah. Uh, it's spark fun. And so it's very easy to make. That's a, the yellow one, this one is not. This one demands a certain amount of skill, especially soldering skill. Yeah. That one, they just take the wire, connect it to it, because this is uh, why they don't just plug it in, but they want you to do something. Yeah. It's made for education and soldering and so on. And that's, uh, uh, I was trying to think, that's probably around $100 or less. So this one is probably over like 120 So. So there's no way to school, science club can't buy this and so on, so. Okay, the next, the last thing is, turn the page back. Two pages, one more. Yeah. Look at that PQRSST. I'm trying to think if I should do something or not. But anyway, what you have to do if you get into this sophisticated wise, like your nerve friend, you have to measure this, this, this. Yeah. And obviously, if you're into computers, you're going to have to measure it in a different way. Okay. Now, if you look at that going up, you see it, QRS going up? If you've got a three lead EKG, okay, this is easy to remember now. This is up, lead two is up, good, okay, not hard to remember, good, not so good. Call the doctor. Call the ambulance. So I'm saying anybody can look at that. On lead one and lead two, if that points up at the sky, one points down, you're in trouble. Okay. So generally speaking, that's another way to make a quick diagnosis with this technology that anybody can do. Yeah. Uh, that they don't teach a lot. The nurses teach this mostly. Yeah. <laughs> the doctors don't hardly even talk about it that I heard of. So. Okay, we're right on time. Any questions? Haley, any questions? No. Now, let me turn page. I want to tell you, this is not as easy as it all sounds. This is where we need brain power. To a new page? Travis is an engineer. We'll put him to the test, are you? Just one page. <laughs> draw that curve for me. See how good engineers are. <laughs> I haven't practiced engineering in 15 years. Yeah. 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 Now, what you've got to do is think in terms of that electricity. That's plus, the plus here, going to minus. You've got to do that with electricity, and you've got to do it with coding. So you're locked in by the language you use and so on. So what's the first way you would do that electricity-wise? Draw a baseline. No, down underneath. Zero. Can Wait. I put zero over here? That's your baseline. So you add a voltage. Well, these are millivolts. Okay, so thousands of a volt. So now I'll draw ticks. One here, one there, one there. Let's see. How do you get a, a minute in a computer? Or a second. 
A thousand. A thousand of them. So you have a thousand ticks there. Okay. So that's called your timeline. On an XY axis, you've got to have a time wall. Almost everything has a timeline on it in electricity. Okay. So you've got to go over the time. Certain things, the heart's going to contract, going to decontract. Going to contract, atrium, ventricle, open up, do it again. Right? So you've got to do it, you've got to know how long, got some lines here, how many seconds that is, or how many milliseconds that is. So then you have to take that curve with what we're doing, if the kids are going to learn it, or you're going to make something for them, and you've got to figure out a time log and the volts. You take the EKG paper and it will hold the millivolts on there. So now, <coughs> draw, uh, yeah, draw this up to here, out here. Start again. Okay, I'll come over, down, up, down. Now, what you've got in electricity, and this is easy for anybody to learn, is zero baseline plus and minus. So you can put these in whatever you want. Here it's in millivolts, milliseconds and millivolts. So let's say the top is five volts. This is five volts. This? Plus five volts. Minus five volts. It's not really, I'm just putting up something. So now, that's not too hard, too hard to do electronically. You just measure it with an oscilloscope. When you start coding it, like this guy is doing, and making it, it's not so easy. If you want to put it into, uh, let's say, Excel, and you want to put it into, or into Arduino, and in the Arduino you have uh, um, the serial plotter. Okay. Now draw another line down here. Okay. And this is where it comes a little difficult. Draw another line. <coughs> now I want to scratch this up. Just X that. For a lot of coding, you don't have a minus. All you've got is pluses. So now what you've got to do is make a baseline up there. So you go from 0 to 100, or 0 to 255, whatever you want. So let's say then, the one that I've got that we work with on, on this year, we made the baseline at 55. So 55 would be the baseline. So then 100 might be the top of this year. And you've got to have a bottom. There has to be minus. So now you've got to start playing games with the, sure. the mathematics and the coding yeah. and so on. So if you want to try it, some try to make <laughs> one electric and then cold one. So if, for what we're doing, it, it's good to try. Yeah. yeah, I'm saying once you get a handle on the Arduino, you should be able to do it. Yeah. Because again, uh, thanks to Italy, we've got the uh, serial plotter and you just figure out what numbers you want and then you just have to start adding numbers in but you've got to get uh, hundreds of numbers yeah you know i'm saying so so the one that we've got is you pick how many seconds you want and then 55 or 100 and, and then make it accordingly and then you should be able to make some of these things work so yeah that's your <laughs> Project. Exercise. <laughs> okay. Any questions? Haley, any questions? Good. Okay. I went seven minutes over. So, okay. Go ahead.